reason why you're able to enter back into this energy is because you have a stronger sense of control over your ego. You see the value in being able to provide to people. You can provide, you can show up, you can be there for people without really expecting a certain amount or a certain thing in return because you have a greater sense of stability and foundation and understanding within yourself. You have a connection with source. You have a connection with the universe that is reciprocal and you recognize that now. Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So welcome to your general monthly reading for the month of April. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, um, we could be, because this is a general reading, this is also a general energy reading, so we could be talking about anything here. Yeah, so because of that, we could also be talking to the cross watcher. So if the way that I'm narrating this message doesn't resonate for you, but it would resonate if you were to flip the roles, then go ahead and do that. Allow things to fall into place naturally for your life. Don't try to force anything that doesn't fit naturally. Yes? So I am available for private readings. If you would like to get one with me, just check the description box below. All of the details can be found there. Also, if you would like to uh, get some extra content. If you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description box below. Um, uh, daily readings are no longer on Patreon. They have since moved back to YouTube in the form of morning coffee as of April 1st but there is still plenty of extra content over on Patreon, including monthly love readings for all the Zodiac signs. Yeah, so if you're interested, please go ahead and make sure you check that out. So this month, we're using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot as our main deck. And then because we're in the spring season, I felt it was a really good idea. It felt right to work with the Oracle of the Unicorn. So that's where we're getting our closing Oracle guidance this month. All right, Virgo, so let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. Um, so I feel like you, and, and we've been talking about this for quite a while now, but Virgo, you're really overcoming a lot of stuff. And I feel like it's at this point now that you're finally starting to feel much better. You're finally starting to be more secure or feel more secure in your life. I'm feeling very specifically in the choices that you've made in terms of the things that you have been through, okay? There is still a little bit of a sense of sorrow here, five of cups, but ultimately, Virgo, what I feel like is going on for you is maybe you're still dealing with the loss of some things because something very extreme and, and painful has come to an end for you. Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. However, I feel like the focus now is more on what you still have or maybe the clarity or the freedom that you may have gained from whatever has spilled out for you. The focus is more on these two of cups behind you rather than the three cups that have spilled out and spilled over. All is not lost here. I feel like you fully understand that. You have that five of cups with the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So this is saying to me that you are way more solid in yourself now than you may have ever been in the past. You may understand yourself much better. You may even have a stronger understanding of what your path has been up until this point, which is only helping to reinforce your sense of self, your sense of dignity, I'm also hearing, okay? That's awesome, Virgo. That's really awesome. You should really be proud of yourself for that because you've come a long way. And Virgo has been going through a lot over the last few years. So it just, it, it, I think at this point, Virgo, you're feeling, you're understanding how the challenges that you've been through up until now have only made you stronger. Yeah, has brought a greater sense of balance and harmony within yourself, temperance. There's what I'm feeling also with this temperance energy for you, Virgo, is there's a greater sense of self-love and understanding of just the path as a whole. Page of Wands is now popping out. So you're re-identifying yourself. You may have, some of you may have really gone through a transformation and I'm hearing you're changing your ways. Um, I feel very specifically, you may not be as 
Yeah, look at this. You're not as um, critical of yourself. There's a greater amount of compassion. Ten of Swords has come back out and it's now with the Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups is representing a greater sense of compassion and unconditional love for the self because of what it is that you've gone through. Ten of Swords. And I'm also feeling very specifically, Virgo, that many of you are really, you have a greater amount of respect for yourself. Part of the reason why you may not be beating yourself up as much as you have in the past is because you recognize how far you've come and how much you've overcome here. And you're still alive and kicking. And not only are you still alive and kicking, but you're much stronger, much better off now than you were before. And I feel like you're, you have a great amount of respect for yourself because of that. And so because of that greater amount of respect, you don't have to beat yourself up about it anymore or about uh, beat yourself up about as much any longer. Yeah. Excellent, Virgo. Let's get a cleansing shuffle and then we'll get into the rest of your reading here. Yeah. Awesome. Here we go. All right, here we go. Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos at this time, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations in terms of the general energies for Virgo for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, five shuffles for you here. One. This is two. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April of 2021. This is three. I keep wanting to say February. And that started with Scorpio, and it happened with Taurus, and now it's happening with you, Virgo. And this really could just be, this is... Four. Um, and this really could be mean that something came to a head or something happened in February or that you've been processing through, all right? And this is five. So just, oops, all right, let's try that again. So just think of, think back if that resonates for you or if that um, piques your interest, think back to what you were experiencing or what you were going through in February and Compare that to where you find yourself now, okay? All right, Virgo, let's cut the deck. Boop. All right, overall energy for you here. You have the Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing uh, starting a new leaf, uh, uh, turning over a new leaf, uh, starting a new lease on life. Um, I'm, I'm getting a strong sense of optimism here also for you, Virgo. Feeling like th there, there's a lot of energies of like doomsday energy kind of being lifted from your shoulders. I feel like you have a brand new perspective that is providing you with a sense of clarity and understanding. Um, again, I'm strongly feeling like you're not so hard on yourself any longer. Okay. Ace of, underneath the Ace of Pentacles is the Three of Pentacles. Underneath the Three of Pentacles is the Three of Swords. And then underneath the Three of Swords is the Six of Wands. And what I feel like specifically what may be helping you not be so hard on yourself any longer um, is the fact that you were able to work through this heartbreak. You took all the heartbreak that you experienced and all of the, the pain and the trauma and the turmoil and you worked on yourself. And because of that, you've received a new opportunity or a new lease on life. Keep in mind also, this ace to the three of pentacles does create a four, and that creates stronger stability, stronger foundation. I feel like I feel like you're much stronger in yourself right now, Virgo, and for many of you, that's allowing you to be open to a new romantic phase, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, you do have the six of wands. Underneath the six of wands is temperance, okay? So your victory here is finding a greater sense of harmony within yourself, and that's beautiful. All right. 
Excellent, Virgo. Let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. You have the Ten of Cups. And this Ten of Cups sure does represent, you know, a happy family life, happy romantic energies and all that. But I feel like for the most part, Virgo, just generally speaking, this Ten of Cups is you feeling just blissful. Seeing life through fresh eyes seeing the beauty and the wonder in everything that there is, being able to experience joy and bliss for the first time altogether, or maybe just for the first time in ages, it feels like. I just feel like this is you being just being happy and being content in where you are in the given moment and also feeling very grateful for the experiences and the challenges you went through in the past because they've only helped to allowed you to build up, to build yourself up stronger, okay? Ten of Cups is coupled with, oh, the sun. You better stop, Virgo. That's beautiful. It just feels like everything is much happier now. You may feel a lot freer now. The sun is shining. You know, the darkness has lifted. The clouds have dispersed. The clouds have parted. And, you, and I feel very specifically, Virgo, that you're seeing life through fresh eyes, maybe even through, you know, the eyes of a child once again. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You have the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this Six of Pentacles energy is you being in a place of being able to give again, being able to want to work with other people or want to you know, have an exchange with other people. I feel like um, this is you emerging out of an extremely long, drawn out hermit energy. And now you're ready to step back into maybe the public eye or step back into the community and help provide in some way, be there, show up for people somehow. You're finally ready to do this again. And maybe it's not just that you're ready to do this, but at this point, it does feel like you want to do this again. Six of Pentacles is coupled with strength. And the reason why you're... See, now, I feel like what strength is saying, coupling with the Six of Pentacles, is that the reason why you're able to enter back into this energy is because you have a stronger sense of control over your ego um, you see the value in being able to provide to people, even though maybe sometimes you may not necessarily get back everything. There's a sense of having tamed your ego here to get to the point where you're understanding that you can provide, you can show up, you can be there for people without really expecting a certain amount or a certain thing in return because you know that it is going to be an equal exchange universally you will be provided for you will have received that which you need you're not going you're 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 not approaching this situation or this you're not approaching life anymore expecting to be drained because you have a greater sense of stability and foundation and understanding within yourself you have a connection with source you have a connection with the universe that is reciprocal and you recognize that now a lot of taming work and a lot of healing work has been done that's allowing you to be in this balanced energy of give and take. Understanding and knowing that the universe is going to provide for you. And that's beautiful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Virgo, is the Knight of Cups. Okay, so, so for some of you, this new heart chakra energy or this new heart chakra awareness or uh, heart chakra opening is fairly new to you. Many of you are not used to wearing your heart on your sleeve or being so connected with your emotions. So it's going to be tricky. It's going to be again, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But ultimately, I mean, and for some of you, this even feels like you don't even know yourself anymore because this is such a new version of you. This is not someone, this is not who people from your past would recognize you as. There even could be some people coming up to you being like, who is this? I don't know this, this version of you. Like, where did this come from? And 
it's act, it's really a beautiful thing, to be honest. The Knight of Cups is coupled with the Two of Wands. Okay. So where do you go from here? Let your heart guide you is what I want to say. I feel like some of you are going to be going in a very, very new or starkly different direction than you will have than you have in the past, but that's because your heart is leading the way now instead of just your mind or your ego. And sure, this is showing up in your challenge, but the only real challenge to this is just experiencing the new. All right, allowing yourself to really follow the guidance of your heart and go in this new direction that you feel you want to go in. Your challenge in the first half, no, I'm sorry, either closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading is the Empress. Beautiful. Connected to the, abundant, the abundance of the universe. Again, this is reiterating this feeling of just feeling the flow of source and not allowing yourself to believe that, you know, you won't get what you're needed. You won't be provided for when, as you step back out there and give to people again. Okay, this is definitely a feeling of being connected to the abundance of the universe, also being connected with unconditional love. The Empress is coupled with, oh shoot, the Emperor. That's awesome, Virgo. But now, so, so basically, what it boils down to is that you have found a sense of balance within yourself. Harmony of masculine and feminine. There is a union here within you. And what's allowing you to be in this providing, unconditionally loving, connected to the abundance of the universe, the feminine side of things, is having integrated and healed and balanced your inner mascul masculine energy that is providing the boundaries that are necessary to keep you feeling protected, safe, guarded, and guided. But this is the work you've done to integrate. And it's from the pain and heartbreak that you've experienced that has allowed you to really do this self-mastery work. That is awesome, Virgo. I really love that for you. Okay. So let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, is the magician. Excellent. So you are manifesting that which you truly desire. I feel like you're feeling much more confident in terms of your manifestations right now, in terms of being in alignment with the universe and asking for something and being in alignment and then getting it, okay? The magician is coupled with the star. Beautiful. And to me, what this is saying is you are very much more connected to your higher self. And so what it is you're manifesting right now is on a soul level of fulfillment. This is also saying that I feel like you have, again, done the healing work with the star. You've done the healing work to feel more confident in going after what it is that you want. I'm hearing specifically asking for what it is that you want and believing that you can receive it, believing that you can get it. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You have the six of cups. Memories, union, soulmates. I'm definitely getting soulmate energy from this. Six of Cups is coupled with, the, yeah, the Queen of Wands. All right, so I just heard union is possible here. Why though? Because you have this union within yourself. And what I'm feeling, Emperor and Empress, but what I'm feeling for you, Virgo, with this energy is I don't think many of you are aware of the fact that you are in direct alignment with a soulmate type energy, or at least you're in direct alignment with allowing or bringing a soulmate into your life. Some of you are conscious of it. That could be what this magician and star energy is. Um, but it's from this place of happiness and contentment 
and seeing the bigger picture here, allowing yourself to get involved with the energies of give and take again, that's put you into direct alignment with this. I feel like some of you are consciously aware of it and some of you are not. Some of you may even actually be consciously trying to deny it, even though you are manifesting, I want to say a universal relationship. What does that mean? A relationship that's provided for by the universe, by source. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Virgo, you have the Ace of Swords. Well, why is this a challenge? It's not necessarily a challenge for you. It's a challenge for the people around you, I guess. Truth, honesty, and clarity. Some people may not like that right now. The challenge also may be for other people, the fact that you have the awareness that you need that's going to make you a force to be reckoned with, really. For some of you, the, the challenge also is not trying to force any sort of truth on anyone else. There might be a little bit of a righteous energy here. Don't go forcing any truth on someone that's not necessarily ready to uh, uh, understand it or apprehend it, okay? I'm even hearing and feeling in some cases, just keep it to yourself. There's no reason to force it on someone else. All right, Ace of Swords is coupled with the, oof, yeah, the Four of Swords, okay. Confrontational situations, I guess, are really not necessary right now, Virgo. Mm -hmm. What I just heard is, you have the truth, you know the truth, that's all that matters here. It really doesn't matter if someone else gets it or not. You don't have to force this truth onto anyone else. You don't have to like try and shove it down their throat. I understand in some situations you're really just trying to help, but it's really not necessary here, okay? Just allow yourself to stay in your alignment and flow from there, work with it from there. Closing message or potential outcome, Virgo, in the second half of your reading, you have death. You've gone through a major transformation and you may see things in a very, very different way than you have in the past. But that does not mean that everyone has to see it the way you see it. Quite frankly, your point of view is uniquely yours and that's the way it should be. Because ultimately, you are on your own path. You are on your own journey. You are on your own ascension process that's going to continue throughout your life, throughout your whole soul's existence. It doesn't, yours doesn't have to look like anybody else's and anybody else's doesn't have to look like yours. I understand your point of view here, Virgo. I understand that you're trying to help others get to the, the best, their best version Okay, but it does not have to look the way yours. The journey for them does not have to look the way yours looks. If somebody comes for you, it comes to you for advice. I'll get, I'll give, I'll help them out, but don't try and force anything on anybody. But it's this transformation that you're going, that you've gone through, that's helped you change and see, change your perspective and see things differently. And that's really just for you. Okay, death is coupled with. <laughs> the knight of swords i get it this this energy your 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 virgo energy of wanting to be of service of wanting to help people of wanting to heal people is really strong within you right now but you don't have to force this on anybody if you're going to help anyone allow the situation the circumstance the person to come to you and then do what you can in within that moment but don't go looking for it. It's not necessary. Okay, Virgo. Let's get your closing message here from the Oracle of the Unicorns. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, Virgo. Closing Oracle guidance. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. You have healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer.
You are a gifted healer with powerful psychic or intuitive abilities. This card has come into your reading to encourage you to deepen your self-healing journey or to develop your gifts and take them to an even higher level. It hasn't always felt safe to be magical and powerful. Your physical body and aspects of your soul may hold memories of being persecuted in past lives or of abusing your powers in Atlantis. These are examples of how influences from previous incarnations may cause you to doubt your gifts or shrink from your abilities. You may find it hard to talk about what you do or to own your brilliance. You may struggle to put value on your services or charge for your gifts. This magical unicorn encourages you to trust yourself and stay true to your beliefs and your divine purpose. The magic you hold can make a great difference in the world when you trust yourself and use it for the greater good. Believe in yourself and your healing abilities. Go out there, shine your light, and let your heart guide you to become the magnificent healer you came here to be. Beautiful. So there you have it, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. And I encourage you guys to check me out over on Patreon, yeah? Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>